afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. Good morning. We're so glad you're here. Oh my gosh, you're Three right. It is long. morning. So if you enjoyed today's video, which I hope you do, make sure you come back again. Guys, checking into our favorite resort. And we we have... haven't been here since like February. It's crazy. Oh, it smells, it feels, it looks just perfect. Yeah, I am so happy. We haven't been back here in so long. I know. We want to thank the Ford family. We have the sweetest relationship with them because Peter was on a run once, one night at the boardwalk, Crescent Lake, and they approached me and they hung out with me, Peter's entire run, yep. got to talking for, I mean, it was a whole run, connected with him online, stayed in touch, and they it had just, extra DVC points that were gonna go to waste. Yeah, they had some that were expiring and they were like, hey, we rented some points up, but we have this little bit left over that we can't do anything with that are gonna expire. Um, do you guys want them? We were honored and we're gonna have a nice little staycation, just yes. one night. Yes. But I think we got upgraded. So we booked a studio mm -hmm. and according to the app, we got a notification at like 10 a.m. that our room was ready. And it's a one bedroom villa, which yeah. we've stayed in before, but that's amazing. Amazing. Let's go check this out. These cute hallways. We're really amazing. far, I think we're the last room in the hall, but I think it's going to work out to our advantage. We're on the third floor. I'm going to do a part where we don't hall <laughs> We went the wrong way. Uh, we did not have to do it on this long hallway. <laughs> Oops. Okay, we found it. It's on, it's on the roundabout. <laughs> oh my word. It is a one bedroom. Oh, dog. Wow. Throwback to our 2016 vlogs. Where are the Bambi pillows? Look at this view. Oh my gosh. Small-ish balcony, but I'm okay with that with this view. We got mm. Bay Lake. This is the pool. Wait, that boat's going? Oh, I guess those boats were going. This is the DVC pool. We'll be hitting up that later. We're doing a lot Bay of pool Lake. today. Lots of pool. And this is my favorite about holding our slides right here. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be rambunctious for it to work. Oh gosh. The suspense. Okay. We have no park passes while we're here. No. Channel 4. It says must do, but that's Meghan Markle. I hope that when people see this film, they realize... But I think, what is it, somebody said 74? And if we 73. About... 73. This looks... This is it. Yeah. I kind of want to get down there really soon because it's looking good, but it's just all this space, this luxuriousness. But we're, we've been, we were just got the phone with Dom, which is really great because I haven't talked to Dom and for our standard, I, it feels like six months, but it's probably, yeah. I honestly haven't talked to him in probably a month and a half. Yeah. We keep missing each other. I'm really right. bad returning text you messages. Talk when you were on your drives to work with that not happening. Yeah, both like, of us aren't doing that. Right. So we're in our room watching the new Disney I'm calling it like the Disney Plus channel because there's like a lot of Disney Plus commercials on it. Yeah. Oh. And we're having, Black Panther. These are so good. Oh my goodness. So we we went to bed last night early before we heard the news that um, Chadwick Boseman passed away from cancer. He and it's like that we brought that up because he's the actor who plays uh, Black, Black Panther. Panther. And I woke up and saw it, and I was like by myself at five in the morning for a good like 15 minutes before I went in the room to say goodbye to Sarah and before let her know before my run. But his story was just like so mirrored of your dad's because nobody knew. Nobody knew. That's the piece like, so your dad had melanoma cancer. Yes. Chadwick had colon. Yes. But Chadwick filmed almost all of his entirety. I think it was the entirety of his Black Panther career. Yeah. I'm trying to think. With stage three colon cancer. And mm -hmm. like you, nobody knew your dad had melanoma cancer. Yeah. So we're feeling for his family and yeah. the whole movie industry family community right he's a part of so many and I played know. so many important characters and is just like in and out of mcu such a loss this is this is living this is this is what i've been looking forward to since the ford family reached out to us about this yeah we just like to snack 
You like the snack? I feel a little snacky. Wait for it. Bum bum! We found her! <laughs> Alright, we're going swimming. Ready to go see the lobby and go swimming? <laughs> yes. Alright, we're in our suits. We're gonna walk through the main lobby just because we love it and missed it. But I yes. think we're not gonna hang out in there now. Right. I think we'll hang out there later. We just have to, I wanna check how late the gift shop is open. Sure. Because we just have to make sure we spend a little time in there between today and tomorrow. So we're going to. The pool, because my favorite pool in all is St. Peter's too. But this is why it starts here, travels all the way over here, down into the creek. The creek goes all the way around. The best pool on property. I just said that. That I was, I wasn't sure if it was still your favorite pool. Yeah. Hands down, what pool would beat it? I don't know. What? Cat? Oh, storm along bay. Yeah, right. Okay. So then, down the waterfall, and the falls goes down, 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 and then into the pool. Like, come on, it's just a beat up. All right. We're going in. Time to go to the And we're gonna soap. get lunch, eventually. <laughs> I just keep thinking about it. We both fell asleep in our chairs. But we're gonna, we didn't bring our cell phones to be relaxing, but we might have to mobile order to get our food. We're gonna go to Rowan Forks and scope it out. Do you hear the song? Shining at the end of every day. They're playing cool games like Name That Attraction. Ooh, La. zesty slaw burger. Oh. And it's impossible. It is beyond. Is it? Yeah. She told me it was impossible. It's for sure beyond, look at it, here. Unless it's impossible 1.0, that's beyond. We'll have to take a bite. That was really tasty. Yeah, it was a Beyond Burger. Um, but it was younger than I expected. Something happened to the pools. We don't know if they're getting cleaned or if there was lightning, but we're gonna go check out the gift shop anyway before we see about the other pool or just go back to our room to hang out for a yeah. little bit. All right, the adventure continues. Back in our, one of our favorite gift shops in the whole universe. Holy, I'm looking for a onesie that I saw years ago that I'm hoping is still here. I haven't seen this little. I thought it was a coffee cup. It's a, it's a pumpkin spice candle. No baby stuff. I think I'm picturing the candle pavilion, but both of these articles of merchandise are very nice. Yes. Pool is closed. Must be, must be lightning or something. But now we're just not staying in our swimsuits. Oh, we got yeah, in our steps. room, we can Literally. see it right there. So. Right there, second floor. Hello. It is raining now. Not just lightning, but. Full on rain, so the pool's still closed, but this is definitely a recipe for some balcony hangs. So, we're having a relaxing time, which is the point of this. Mm -hmm. But I think it's just one of those silly Florida days where there's just like impending Perpetual. lightning in the air. Yeah. It hasn't rained, like the ground's still wet, but it hasn't rained for a while. We've been but enjoying the, our time out yeah. here though. But the pool's still closed, and I think it's just, like the rule is if there's a lightning strike within 10 miles. So like we, you could not hear it or see it, and it still got registered to keep the pool closed. Yeah, but it's like the perfect cozy wilderness lodge day. It really is. All right, you can see through the wild west. Over there is where reflections is going to get built one day. Maybe. It's gonna get built one day for sure. There's no way they're not building it. I'm hoping though to run on the path down there towards Fort Wilderness and to check out the new home of the of the horses and everything tomorrow morning all right things got a little crazy we're gonna get the all you can eat <laughs> 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 but there's a 55 minute wait list for whispering kenya right now but now it's all cool you can do it on the app oh no which unfortunately know. walk up list for dying locations is not available just like fast pass was all about the refresh we're on the list all righty <laughs> 30 minutes early. Ooh. Get out of here. 
here, caribou. <laughs> You're not welcome here. We know what that's from here. Legit, our friend. Um, Peter really thought I was gonna get a skillet of all meat. Sarah's been debating heavily about dropping the vegan lifestyle. No, dropping it at restaurants. Right, right, but like you haven't made taken the plunge. Do you think the, the first thing I'm gonna get is an all you can eat? I mean, pork I feel like that's the Brookhart way. <laughs> I feel like if they were gonna do it any other way, it would be all in to a meat endless skillet at no, Whisper and Canyon. My belly would hurt so bad. Before I start the montage back up again, we did, did get the normal cornbread. This is butter with honey on it. I tried ordering a plant-based dessert and she said, if you can eat the non-vegan. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. No, if you can eat the non-vegan cornbread, you can eat the non-vegan dessert. So. A little more so, s'mores. Oh my God. We're so full. We're about to go home. And play with Eve, even though like we're just gonna let this lay there. <laughs> but this will be the Grand Rock. And we got to take home. What we didn't finish. Ready to go to the Eevee? Yeah. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> we just had an accident. <laughs> I slipped on the stairs. <laughs> it's been so, it's been, as we showed you earlier, it's been raining for hours. <sighs> We're walking down the stairs. <laughs> Don't show your arm. <laughs> I caught myself with my arm. She did such a good job at like. Protecting James. Yeah, but I'm still like, I'm just like, I just want to feel him. You felt him a little bit already. Yeah. She, so she slipped on the top stair going down oh, to leave uh, Wilderness Lodge and she <laughs> landed on her butt. I'm going to check out her lower back when we get home to make sure that's not like bleeding. It was a bad fall. Yeah. <laughs> one lady just walked right Yeah, <laughs> one lady just <laughs> kept on walking. And another then another lady. woman was like, are you okay? And she like... It was like after the fact, so I'm just happy I didn't throw up because I got the wind knocked out of me, kind of. What an, what an I, hour. I was telling Peter, like, I don't remember the last time I fell down the stairs. <laughs> Such a weird thing. And my response was, how often do people fall down the stairs? I don't fall down the stairs. I feel like I fall down the stairs a lot. But like my house growing up is like three, like is a tri-level, so there's lots of stairs to fall down, I guess. <laughs> okay. We're like slap happy because of fullness and what just oh happened. Oh my gosh. This is not going to feel good. <laughs> no. Not, no, it's not. Surprise, guys. <laughs> we called our after hours doctor's office and they suggested that um, because she's over 28 or 21 weeks. Over 20 No matter what the falls, we should get checked out. So we're over at Winnie Palmer, which is kind of a sneak peek because we're not doing visitations right now like they usually do because of COVID. And this is where I'll be giving birth. And uh, I, got to, I get to stay, which we weren't sure about, so that's cool. Yeah. Those are positive. I so, feel fine. My tailbone hurts. Um, but James is moving. James is feeling good. Yeah, it's just annoying. I'm mad at myself. Don't be mad at yourself. You didn't do anything. Yeah. Slippery surfaces, slippery shoes, slippery conditions. But you're safe. It's just like one of those things like, better to be safe. You gotta listen to your doctors. So we're here. It'll be a good peace of mind. Yeah. All right. So we've always talked about how our little guy gets rambunctious at night. Mm -hmm. And this is causing an issue because that monitor right there needs to stay on him for four hours at least. Four to six. Four to six, but it's got to be on him for that time. Yeah. And they've been having trouble getting on him. So I think that they and just he got him. Yeah, he keeps moving. And it's 1020, so we're looking for like between a 2.30 and 3 o'clock oh. discharge if we're lucky. Yeah. Okay. So we, we won't be going... Won't be spending the night at Wilderness Lodge tonight. I think I'll probably... If, if we're going out that late, I'm probably going to actually go get our stuff tonight. Yeah. Rather than get up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because our stuff is all there. All of our stuff is there. I'd rather drop you off at home after we get out of here, go, and then sleep until 11 rather than have to get home at mm -hmm. 3 in the morning, get up at, at 9 or 10 or 7 or 8 or whatever time it is, and rush to get over there for checkout. Right. Oh, he just did a backflip. Oh, gosh. He's off. Just rest, James. Oh, no, that number went away. That means he's... Oh, he's back. He's good. He just needs to chill. <laughs> they actually had to bring in a sonogram. And then and a, they had a sonogram come in and a second nurse. Yeah. I think what the urn just kind of acknowledged when she was going over the labs after Sarah got rehooked up after going to the bathroom, 
I think they wanted to monitor her until four to four to six hours after the fall. And 11.30 was four hours. So she just said, all the labs came back good. Let me go see what they want their plan to be. So we may not be here till three in the morning. Fingers crossed that we get out of here. We hear some good news soon. But good news is the labs came back good, right? Yep. And he's looking great. And we got pre-registered for birth in October. So that was cool. Yeah. Like we got, like somebody came in and was like, you're giving birth here, right? Oh, that's the plan. I'm like, yeah. Like, let's get all your paperwork done so you just can show up and get to work. Okay. We are all discharged. Free. Free, free. Waiting for our car of LA. And then I'm gonna just go after home. midnight. I'm gonna go home. Just happy. Everything is okay. Yes. Well, this isn't just comical to add to the evening. It is almost one in the morning, and I decided to go to Wilderness Lodge to get our stuff rather than wake up early and go check out because all of our stuff is there. And the moment I get an I 4 quarter to one in the morning and of course there's stop and go traffic august 29th don't dig up in doubt what you planted in faith elizabeth elliott that is a good quote for today a lot of worry a lot of uncertainty peter's awesome when it comes to helping me um stay positive especially when you know we're we're high anxiety over here with this after um, how hard we work to get here. So, so grateful that the baby is okay and so grateful that I have Peter alongside me. Um, I'm gonna go to bed. You guys are the best. It's good to be home. Nothing like strolling up in a Disney World at 1.30 in the morning. Woo woo! Here we are, back at Wilderness Lodge, safe and sound. These are the culprits right here. So I don't think we showed it because we just got to the car earlier, but it was this stop. So like if you come out to Wilderness Lodge, it is this very first step. Sarah slipped on that, hit her tailbone and like slid, not even all the way to the bottom, but like maybe to that second light on her back. So that's what it was to snowball the evening train room you gorgeous gorgeous wonderful place we'll be back we'll be back we will fall asleep in your chairs and just like that it is two o'clock on the dot in the morning and i am all packed up even at two in the morning it is just stunning so i know so i'm gonna say i'm sure sarah said it already because she texted me and said a while ago she was going to bed but she already did the message for the day um, but you guys don't need to see me go downstairs and check out and let them know and potentially have to do an incident report for Sarah falling on the stairs um, and driving home and just to get home to a quiet sleeping house of Sarah and Eve. So I'm going to sign off now um, for us. But yeah, it was a crazy wild day. Um, great start to the day. Weird afternoon, but overall ending great because Sarah's healthy and okay and James is healthy and okay and we did truly enjoy this room for the time that we had it but it just doesn't make sense after we got home for um, Sarah needs a rest she's probably gonna be super sore in the morning and we kind of talked about like trying to get up and get here early before checkout but I was like you're we're gonna get up we don't know how sore you're gonna be just for us to get here an hour or two before checkout just to say that we did um, and we wanted her to be at home after the hospital and with Eve because we we didn't really get to go see her like we planned on um, in the afternoon so but it was still was it was a it was a day highs and lows but isn't that life I love you guys it is good to be home We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.